Hi everyone, today we are going to see an interesting fact about the hummingbirds or the only animal able to fly a backward. Why it is? The design of the hummingbird's wing differs from most other types of birds. Hummingbirds have a unique ball and socket joint at the shoulder that allows the birds to rotate its wings 180 degree in all directions. The shape of their wings are long, narrow and tapered, which allows them to move more quickly and easily through the air. Additionally, the shoulder and elbow joints of the wings are very close to their tiny bodies, allowing the wings to tilt and pivot. These characteristics allow hummingbirds to change flight direction in a way other birds cannot. Hummingbird flight patterns reveal that it can fly forward, sideways and even backward also. This type of flight is usually observed when the birds retreat from one floor in order to move to another. Such as a mid-year acrobatic Maneuver is not seen in any other bird. The hummingbird can move backward, forward, from side to side, and they can hover in place. What makes this bird's flight special is that, unlike other bird species, its wings stroke backward and forward. In contrast, 99% of birds move their wings in an upward and downward motion. And the hummingbird moves its wings at about 180 degrees at the shoulders. The tips of the wings traces a figure 8 pattern as a backward and forward wing strokes lift them. By simply changing the angle of their wings, the birds can maneuver and change the direction of their flight. Hummingbirds beat their wings about 8 to 200 times per second. Typically, the smaller birds of the species have a smaller wingspan. They move their wings very fast in order to keep their small bodies airborne. The birds also tend to move their wings faster when they dive than during their usual flight. The typical hummingbird flight is at a speed of 30 miles per hour. However, during the courtship ritual, the male bird can dive at a standing speed of 60 miles per hour. Hummingbirds require a high calorie diet in order to provide them the energy they require to sustain high speed flight and unusual mid year turns. It is thus not surprising that they spend 90% of their time flying and hovering to feed. The birds consume their nectar from flowers, tree sap and fruit juice from rapine, broken fruit. They also feed on fruit flies and other insects. On the daily basis, an average hummingbird can consume twice its height in sugar. An average bird has about 1000 to 1500 feathers which is much less than the feathers of other birds. This reduces the weight of an average hummingbird and makes it easier for it to fly. A typical rubby throated hummingbird weighs close to a merry 3 gram. How far can a hummingbird fly in a day? Hummingbirds is a native to North and South America. Its early migration from the eastern coast of the United States to Central America requires it to fly up to 1300 miles. It completes this long journey without a break. It is delivered that during migration, it can fly up to 500 miles in a day. Typically, the migration begins at the end of the August and concludes in late October. And so the bird can able to complete the journey in the good weather. Interestingly, older males are found to complete the migration faster than the younger ones. 
and arrive at their destination in a better shape thank you